but this lad's actually an old one of the older bucks. So about uh, six years ago, uh, the chap that was here before me um, took out the male side of the herd uh, and brought in ten new bucks in Houghton Hall in Norfolk uh, to sort of rejuvenate the, um, the genetics. They've sort of been, I think it's about 30 or 40 years since we've had any new blood put into the park. So it's pretty stagnated. Um, they've sort of kind of got quite a nice setup here with the satellite bucks. So all these bucks are actually a similar age. Um, they're all five-year-old bucks that have come through. You see this chap here scraping the dirt. He's got on quite a good performance this last night. They will go sort of most most of the time throughout the night. They might stay down and have a couple of breaks here and there. Um, and they go. They tend to sort of sort of start to stroll away around eight o'clock in the morning. They start to switch off a little bit. Um, and by sort of half eight nine, it's pretty quiet up in here. The older bucks will be, be laying in their wallows, um, but the, the grunting and stuff tends to stop. They might go a couple of times throughout the day. Um, if a doe comes through in season, it'll kick them all off. <laughs> we do take out, so obviously taking out fetuses uh, later on in the season. Um, and we do uh, nearly all the does that we uh, are having. So we have quite a good you know, in terms of, and that's quite a good sign if you're sort of herd health um, and sort of vitality. So, in terms of what I was saying before about bringing in the new genetics before when with the older deer that, that were in here we were sort of talking it was about an 80% 80, 80 kind of deer age but now you know we can almost say we're at 99% and that's just really that it's worked out really well Get that on the wind there? Yeah. yeah. Did everyone get that one? The scent then. Oh, that. Yeah, sort of musky. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.